I really like this Hungarian Ronda by Haydn, arranged from his famous Gypsy Trio. There's so much contrast, so there's so much fun material to learn, and a lot of beneficial technique that we can develop when doing so. We've got a lovely opening theme, which is light in character, and where we want to sustain a longer phrase to make it not sound too heavy. Perhaps it would sound something like this. And then we've got the second theme, which is completely different, more folksy in style, and where we can really give everything we've got and emphasise all our crotchets. <laughs> focus on the opening here because there are two things that I find really really important. A, we want to learn to control that sotto stroke because that is really crucial to learn as a string player and also something that can feel very very unsettling when we feel that we do not have control over it. And B, by having that control I feel that we can learn to practice more effectively and therefore speed up our progress. So how do we play a good sotier? Well, opinions can be divided there. I find the best way to do it is to let the bow bounce by itself without trying to do anything strange with my arm. I use the natural hinges of my arm and I try to use friction only and just relaxation. So what I'm actually doing is the opposite. I'm trying to make the bow not bounce, but I do something different from normal detaché and that is tilting the bow towards me, so that I use more hair than I use for a normal detaché stroke. So for detaché I tilt the bow away from me and I play like this, and for sotoye I tilt it back and I use the slightly lower than the middle and I play like this. Now when I get to a certain speed and reduce the amount of bow, it will start to bounce by itself. So, normal detaché, sort of, yeah. And it really isn't harder than that. Uh, a nice exercise to do would be like this. Okay, so I'm not actively trying to move my fingers. They are more moving because of the bow just being completely relaxed. Now, the important thing I find here is that when I tell pupils to learn something slowly and then speed it up further, I tell them to use this tiny amount of bow between here and here from the very beginning. I don't ask them to play a different stroke from what they would if they were trying to play crotchet equals 120. Now we've only got 80 here, which is not very fast. So I ask them to play with those really short bows and that gives them full control and then if they want to speed something up beyond that let's say we're doing another piece it might have to be 120 beats per minute I tell them to start very slowly practice it with a metronome go up two notches and then down one notch the next day and then two up one down two up one down and then over a course of a few weeks they can play so much faster than they could before and that's because they can focus on the left hand when they're in full control over their right hand. 